Tesla has recently made significant price reductions for both the Model 3 and Model Y, resulting in some of the lowest prices seen in years. While this news has pleased some, it has also sparked anger among many Tesla owners. In this update, we'll delve into the reasons behind this controversy. Additionally, Tesla has experienced one of its most significant product leaks to date, and we have exclusive new video footage that is causing quite a stir in the Tesla community. Tesla is not particularly thrilled about this leak, and we'll discuss why. Furthermore, there are crucial updates on the Model 3 and Model Y refresh that demand your attention right now. These updates include exciting information about new color options. It has been an eventful and contentious week in the world of Tesla news, filled with leaks, rumors, and significant announcements. Join us as we unpack all the details, providing you with a comprehensive overview of the exciting and sometimes turbulent realm of Tesla news. To begin, let's address the recent controversy surrounding Tesla's Q3 delivery numbers, which came in lower than Wall Street's expectations. There were concerns and confusion among analysts about the unexpected shortfall of approximately 20,000 vehicles compared to the anticipated 455,000 deliveries. However, it's worth noting that Tesla had previously cautioned that Q3 might see a dip in deliveries due to planned factory upgrades. These upgrades were carried out as part of preparations for the Model 3 refresh in facilities like Giga Shanghai. Tesla remains optimistic about a strong Q4 and is still on track to achieve its annual goal of delivering 1.8 million vehicles by the end of 2023. As a Tesla Model 3 owner, I often look for various accessories for my car. This week I ordered floor mats and was pleasantly surprised that the product arrived soon. In 8 days, the product itself is of high quality and fits my car well. I also ordered a central armrest storage box. I ordered 5 different pieces, they fit my Tesla very well. I ordered from the Tess assortment store. I also liked the support of the store, they answered all my questions. That's why I decided to recommend this store to you and leave in the description under this video the top 10 accessories for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y that I have already ordered. Moving on to the eagerly awaited Cybertruck, we have been repeatedly hearing that its release is imminent. While Tesla missed its initially announced Q3 delivery event for the Cybertruck, signs continue to point toward its impending arrival. Notably, a leaked video has surfaced, offering an inside look at the Cybertruck's redesigned user interface. There is debate within the Tesla community about the origins of this video, but as it has become publicly available, we will provide insights into its content. The video showcases the driver's point of view, revealing the distinctive squarish steering wheel, which is a hybrid design between the traditional round wheel and the yoke seen in other Tesla models. Notably, there are no stocks on either side of the steering column. The video then zooms in on the screen, offering our best glimpse yet at the Cybertruck's user interface. On the left side of the screen, we have the gesture area, which allows you to perform actions like shifting from drive to reverse and putting the vehicle in park. This feature is not new and is also found in other Tesla models that lack traditional stocks. However, what sets the Cybertruck apart is the vertical orientation of the app dock on the side of the screen, as opposed to the horizontal orientation seen in all other Tesla models. The Cybertruck is rumored to come with a larger display, potentially 17 inches or 18 inches, depending on the source. This substantial screen size seems to encourage Tesla to maximize its use by placing certain controls along the side. While the Model S and Model X also have large displays, they feature two screens, one in front of the driver and one in the middle of the vehicle. In contrast, the Cybertruck relies solely on its larger single display. Despite this, Tesla aims to efficiently utilize the space by shifting the app dock to the side. Notably, the user interface of the Cybertruck embraces a blocky, cyberpunk-inspired font and numbers for various UI elements, aligning with the Cybertruck's distinctive theme. The video offers a brief, zoomed-in look at a digital model that appears to depict changing terrain around the truck. Some speculation has arisen regarding whether this could be a live representation of the surroundings as captured by the truck's cameras. This interpretation raises questions about whether the Cybertruck uses its cameras to map elevation changes, road conditions, and surrounding objects in real time. However, it remains unclear whether this feature is stylized or a live, interactive mapping tool. Additionally, the video reveals labeled camera angles on the screen, including a front camera accessible through the display. This aligns with earlier information indicating the presence of a front camera on the Cybertruck's bumper. While the specific utility of the 306-sided camera setup remains uncertain, the video confirms the accessibility of the front camera on the main display. 
The video briefly showcases the RGB ambient lighting bar in the Cybertruck, which adds an appealing visual touch to the interior. Furthermore, it provides an interesting glimpse of the wireless charging setup inside the Cybertruck. Unlike some other Tesla models with horizontal wireless charging pads, the Cybertruck features a vertical orientation that allows the phone to securely slot in. This design ensures that the phone stays in place while driving, making it a practical and stylish feature. Additionally, it appears that the keycard may be used in this area, although the video doesn't provide specific details. The video also offers a view of the front cup holders and the space in front of the center cup holder, which provides ample room for additional storage. It briefly showcases the rear seats and provides a clear look at the Cybertruck's glass features, including the roof and the view from the driver's perspective. Interestingly, the panoramic windshield in the Cybertruck, while not as extensive as the one in the Model X, offers an unobstructed view with a minor bar that holds the sun visor. This setup allows for a clear line of sight, similar to the Model X, making it advantageous for observing the surroundings while driving. Tesla Semi is currently the most exciting release, closely followed by the Cybertruck. While all the new Tesla models and changes are generating excitement, there are two main perspectives you might have as you watch this video. First, you might be thrilled by these changes and eager to trade in your current electric vehicle to get one of these new Teslas. Alternatively, you might love your current EV and want to maintain it for as long as possible, preserving its range and battery health. Regardless of your stance, I'm here to assist you thanks to our video sponsor, Recurrent, which offers valuable solutions in the EV space. For those unfamiliar with Recurrent, let me highlight the top three reasons why I appreciate their services and why you might too. Firstly, Recurrent provides a monthly, free battery report delivered to your email inbox automatically. This report offers valuable insights into your EV's battery health, allowing you to compare your vehicle's data with others in the Recurrent fleet. It helps you assess how your charging habits may impact your battery's long-term health and how external factors like temperature can affect your real-world range. Secondly, if you're considering trading in your EV for something new, Recurrent can connect you with dealers who understand the value of a well-maintained EV battery. They even calculate a battery premium, potentially helping you get better offers when selling your EV. Finally, if you're in the market to purchase a used EV, Recurrent offers a fantastic tool on their website. You can input the VIN of a used EV you're interested in, and Recurrent will provide a detailed report on the battery health. This helps ensure that your purchase is a sound investment, with a battery that will serve you well for years to come. To learn more about Recurrent, check out their website and sign up for the free monthly battery report or explore their other valuable tools. The link is provided below for your convenience. In addition to this video, sightings of the Cybertruck have become a daily occurrence, with photos and videos continuously surfacing. It seems that these trucks are popping up all over the place. Furthermore, an image has emerged, allegedly showing special merchandise being sent to the Cybertruck launch team, symbolizing their involvement in this highly anticipated event. Tesla seems to be preparing for an imminent Cybertruck delivery event, possibly happening this month. Giga Texas is actively involved in the production of Cybertrucks, and there have been hints suggesting that the event may take place before October ends. The new, impressive entryway and lobby at Giga Texas add to the anticipation. A job listing for a vehicle film installer in Costa Mesa, California, supports this rumor. Tesla has also been consistently reducing vehicle prices this year. The Model Y long range and performance variants have seen price cuts of around $2,000 while the Model 3 lineup has seen similar reductions, making these vehicles even more attractive to potential buyers. Additionally, the introduction of a new Model Y rear-wheel drive standard range variant in the US has offered a competitive price point at $43,990 before any applicable tax incentives. There's good news for EV buyers regarding the federal tax credit. Starting in 2024, the $7,500 federal tax credit can be taken as a point-of-sale discount, allowing buyers to apply it directly when purchasing a new EV, rather than waiting to receive it through tax returns. This change is expected to make incentives more appealing to buyers. While lower prices are excellent news for potential buyers, existing Tesla owners have expressed concern about the negative impact on their vehicle's resale value. Nonetheless, the continuous price reductions are attracting more prospective Tesla owners. Regarding new colors, there are images hinting at either a stealth gray or quicksilver gray option emerging from Giga Texas. It's speculated that Texas now has an upgraded paint shop capability, and new color options may be launched soon, although the exact timing remains uncertain. The new Model Y Gigafactory in Texas is expected to start offering certain updates before the Model 3 
and these updates may eventually make their way to the Model 3 after a while, possibly coinciding with its refresh. Speaking of the Model 3 and Model Y refresh, there have been recent developments regarding their release timelines. The timing can be a bit intricate depending on your location. In China, an exclusive customer base currently enjoys access to an all-new Model 3 and Model Y. These vehicles include some enhancements, such as black 19 inches Gemini wheels, updated interior materials, and a new ambient lighting strip. They are being produced at Giga Shanghai and primarily cater to the Chinese market. The refreshed Model 3, known as Project Highland, is set to initiate initial deliveries this month, starting with China and Europe. Customers in these regions can anticipate receiving their orders soon. However, the Model Y lineup has undergone significant changes and may seem somewhat perplexing, depending on your geographical location. The black 19 inches Gemini wheels, new interior lighting, and other updates introduced in China are not available in other regions. In the United States, the Model Y lineup has been streamlined. The previously offered all-wheel drive model with the 4680 structural battery pack has been discontinued. In its place, Tesla now offers a new rear-wheel drive standard range Model Y, which is more affordable than previous versions. The starting price for the base Model Y in the US now stands at $43,900. Additionally, it is believed to use an LFP-based battery chemistry, different from the other battery chemistry used in previous models. We can discuss which one is better in the comments below. There's a noteworthy discount on the Model Y, but the pressing question is when we'll see these new models. Regarding the new Model 3, the current estimate from the insider community suggests it's still about five to six months away from being launched in North America, tentatively in Q1 of 2024. The Model Y refresh, the significant one, isn't expected internationally until the end of 2024 at the earliest. If Tesla follows its current patterns, we might not see the new Model Y in North America until 2025. It's somewhat confusing to recommend which models to consider and when to make a move, as it varies greatly worldwide. For those with access to the new Highland Model 3, it's an exceptional car and looks fantastic. In the general North America region, it's a bit challenging to decide. On one hand, current incentives are enticing and the Model 3 remains a great choice. On the other hand, the new Highland Model 3 is superior in many aspects and might be worth the wait, even if it means potentially missing out on some federal incentives. Additionally, there's an intriguing video providing an extensive look at the Tesla Semi, a vehicle that Tesla has been relatively quiet about since the initial deliveries about a year ago. Jay Leno's Garage offers a detailed 40-minute video that explores the Tesla Semi, including interviews with Tesla executives, design insights, and a fascinating look into the vehicle's workings. If you're interested in the Tesla Semi, you can find the video linked below. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on the topics covered in this video, such as the Model 3 refresh, Model Y changes, and your preferences for new Tesla colors. Feel free to provide feedback and constructive criticism on the videos. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, whether it's specific news categories, broader EV coverage, tutorials, or any other suggestions to make the content more engaging. After your comment, don't forget to add an emoji to indicate that you watched until the end and have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Your support and feedback are greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.